Lee, your is doing my head in. Uh, let me take you out uh, after. No, it's just uh, late lunch. I thought you had loads on. I can always make time for you. Oh, well, in that case, the pub will be lovely. No, no, no. Let... Look, I thought you wanted to be home for dinner, not an interrogation. And why did you have to tell her? Does whole family know? No, we don't. But we're going to get this sorted and we're starting with an apology for Chaz. Have you got the first idea about what you've done? How serious it is? Look, I didn't know whose jacket it was. It's not like I chose that one on purpose. That wasn't the question. <sighs> what were you doing calling the police anyway? You are really starting to push my buttons now, lady. You don't mess with drugs. I thought you were smarter than that. All right, all right. She knows that she's done wrong, don't you? If a punter reported it, I could have been in serious bother. That Ethan deserves an apology at all. No, I can't. Look, it'd be like admitting it. You'd go straight to the police. I mean, she has got a point. But listen, you will be staying away from that Danny, do you hear me? Come on, I'll drop you back off at school. Hey, it's fine, I'll get the bus. Can I, um, can I have a quick word? Maybe somewhere quieter. I'm on my own. Yeah, I, um, I just wanted to talk about the CCTV. There isn't any. <laughs> Fitch got wiped, did it? No, there's, there's no cameras, sorry. Sure you are. No, I'd be wasting my time. Well, as soon as you're here, why don't you stop for a drink? I've got the conscience. I'll pass. All you need to do is start telling the truth. Look, whoever you are, you can start having a go at her. She planted drugs on me. Saw the police turn up and picked an easy target. No, I didn't. Of course she's denying it. Only I could lose my job. Is this true? Stay out of it, Nate. Look, she said she didn't do it. She didn't do it. Why are you sticking up for them? Because they're family and I trust them. You need to open your eyes. Take a good look at what your family's really like because they didn't seem to give a damn that police officer targeted me. In fact, it worked out pretty nicely for them. <laughs> Thanks for the support. He's got so much anger. Granddad, tell him what's going on. Or you could do it later. Give us a chance for a proper catch up. I've got to go to the bank, but, you know, I've got an hour or two. No, honestly, I'm really not good company with everything that's going on at the moment. Come on, I'll call Bob. Get him to cover. I just need to get my head together. I need to work out what I'm going to do. I know this is rough on Ethan, obviously, but... You know, I promised Sarah I'm going to look after her. She feels like I've completely let her down. You'd never do that. No, but I have to, haven't I? I should have realised that she was missing me. I should have realised that she felt like she was alone. I'll just see you in a bit, OK? Debbie. That guy earlier, he was telling the truth, wasn't he? This is none of your business. I get why you're trying to protect Sarah, but this is bigger than some family code. Well, we look out for each other. I wouldn't expect you to understand. If she had anything to do with what happened to him, you need to talk to her. Sorry, do you want to stop telling me what to do? I get what he's going through. All the random stop and searches, false allegations, people crossing the road when they see you coming. You're just adding to that problem. <sighs> she panicked. All right, she picked the first jacket that she saw. She didn't know whose it was. I get that Ethan is angry, obviously. But what am I going to do? I'm going to throw her under the bus? But it's all right if he ends up there. But he's done nothing wrong. Well, he'll be fine then, won't he? You can't be that naive. If Sarah don't tell the truth, he could lose everything. All because you decided to look the other way and, and pretend that there's not an issue. It... Are you sure that's the way you want to bring up your kids? Oh, hi. Like I heard about Sarah. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, not now. Okay. Hey, how you doing? How's Sarah? Uh, yeah, not great. I was going to call you later. You sounded pretty stressed yesterday. Well, I still am. Listen, I know this is not exactly the reunion that we had planned, but I've really missed you. I miss you too. I can come over to yours later if no one's there. Have a proper chat about Sarah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. OK, well, I'll be there soon. Got to make a cup of calls. Looks like this Danny's the main problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to get her to listen to me. She's already run away once. If I'm on at her all the time, she's going to be even more determined to be with him. But maybe she'll get bored when you move back up to Scotland. Hmm. Keen to get rid of me, are you? <laughs> Hardly. Good, cos... I'm gonna have to rethink all this. How do you mean? Well, we had a chat last night and... 
She feels like I've been abandoning her, which, you know, wasn't the easiest thing to hear, but she's got a point. But you're still going to take her up there with you, though? Well, I need to think about it all. She needs so much support, I'll... I need to stay. What? Um, thought you would be pleased. <laughs> I am. You know, it's, it's great, but uh, what about the garage? I don't know. I'm going to get someone to manage it for me, aren't I? Right. Look, I know this is not exactly how we planned it, but come on, let's face it, you're only coming to Scotland for me anyway. And she has to come first. Of course she does. Yeah, it's, it's fine. But I guess we should still keep you and me under wraps for now, though, eh? Yeah. Look how long we've got until um, she's back from school. Are you joking? It's way too risky. Well, later then. I could pick you up, take your mind off things for a while. Well, see if she wants to have tea with my dad and Moira. I don't want her to feel like I'm pushing her out, though. Look, I know how difficult everything is and that you want to protect her, but you have to get her to clear Ethan's name. <sighs> yes, I know, but she could be in so much trouble here. I like criminal record-type trouble. Yeah, but his whole future's on the line. I mean, it's not fair. I know. I know. I need to do something. We have even got Nate having a go at me now. Why? What do you say? Well, it, it didn't exactly say that I was racist, but, you know, that's the line that he was going down. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, I guess you can't really know what it's like. You know, I mean, how people can treat you. And I'm not talking about the real head cases. I mean, it's everywhere. The looks you get. I'm not even sure people realise they're doing it. Well, I'm not, so, you know, it could do without Nate jumping to conclusions about me, thank you. I know. It hurts when people get the wrong idea for no real reason. I'm sure you both can put it right. Yeah, sure we can. I don't know how I'm going to get her to listen, though. Time for a quick chat. Yeah, it wasn't Danny, by the way. You can check if you want. No, no, it's fine. I trust you. I spoke to a mate earlier about Ethan. I thought that was all sorted. Well, it's not, though, really, is it? Look, I didn't mean for him to get in trouble. And he's a solicitor. The police have no evidence on him. So it's not like he's going to end up in prison, is it? Can't we just leave it? No, Sarah, it's not that simple. Yes, it is. So whoever your friend is, just tell him to butt out. It's about doing the right thing. We have got to face up to this. Ethan's done nothing wrong, and yet he's the one that's suffering. People see him, Sarah, and they see a black guy that's been pushing drugs. Yeah, but it's not about race. No, not to us, it's not. Yeah, well, I didn't pick his jacket on purpose, and I didn't make that copper single him out. Sarah, people are judging him. OK, he's the one that's having to deal with the fallout. It's not right. Come on, you are brave enough to deal with this. Right, well, what would I have to do? You have to talk to him. I need to apologise, and whatever happens, I will be by your side, I promise you. OK, can I go upstairs now? Yeah, sure. Just, um, I'm going to nip out, OK? I won't be long. Okay. Who knew it'd be so hard to arrange a day, eh? Well, to actually end up on one. All my fault, obviously. Maybe them dating gods. We'll try again soon, though, yeah? about this. Sarah doesn't want to go out. Well, I didn't ask her, because uh, she's going to speak to Ethan tomorrow and tell him the truth, so I, I just feel like I want to be with her.